Hi guys, it's Annie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really cool bread cane. And it's really, really fun and easy to make, so let's get started. So start off with a ball of beige clay, or you can use beige and translucent, or just tan. This color was already made for me, and you're going to want to form it into a thick rectangle. And you want to make it the height and the width, but just make sure that it's a thick rectangle and long enough for you to cut slices out of. And sorry if you hear the computer making weird noises. And if you line it up and it's all straight, then you know that it's gonna um, cut the slices really nicely. Because if you line it up and, and some of it can be thicker, like you can make one side thicker than the other, and you just want it to be all the same size. So now I'll get some chalk pastel and pastel the heck out of this. Make it really, really dark, and just use brown and kind of like brownish colors, and I used tan this orange for this. But just really pastel it because when you cut it, you want it to look like crust as well. So this is what it looks like. And sorry if you hear the um, computer making noises. I'm doing a voiceover and sometimes the computer makes noises that you can hear. And now just get a baby wipe and wipe everything off. So this is what it looks like. And now here's two quick pictures of what I came up with. Shout out to Darling Craftlet, she made me this pen. So now you're going to freeze this for 10 minutes or longer. I ended up doing mine for like 25, I think. After 10 minutes or longer, take it out of the freezer. And that's what it looks like when it's all out of the freezer. And now you can go ahead and get your blade or an X-Acto knife. You could probably possibly use a regular knife and cut off the ends. I guess you don't have to pass all the ends, but I like to make it really neat. And just cut out pieces of bread cane. And that's how it looks. So it's really, really cool when you want to make sandwiches out of polymer clay. So you can also um, texture your bread after it comes out of the freezer. You can do it before the freezer. I just forgot. I would have done it before I put it in the freezer. Sorry if you hear typing as well. And that's what it looks like. And I didn't cut it very even. But yeah, it looks like a piece of bread. If you don't have pastels, just wrap a strip of brown clay around the um, beige piece. If you don't have pastels, wrap the brown clay around the tan clay. And here are some quick pictures. And I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with my other bread cane. That's how it looks. So you can also pastel and texture your slices of bread so they look more realistic. That's what it looks like. Once again, thank you Dolly Craftlet for the awesome Mario pen! Her link will be in the description box below. So now you can texture and pastel the bread pieces to look more realistic. Thank you guys for watching this video. And here are some other pictures. So this is one more quick part of the video. If you cut extremely thin strips of the bread cane and kind of
carrot a little bit, you can get turkey pieces. And then you could put them on your bread. Of course, you would pastel them with some pinks. And these would be textured a different color, so it would look like a turkey sandwich. So, yep, that's just a quick tip. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was long. Um, and thank you, Darling Craftlet, for sending me that pen. Our, I'll um, just shout out to her because she made me this pen. And, yeah, I'll see you guys on my next video. Comment down below what video you would like to see next. And I'll see you next time. Bye.